Hello folks, so this year's 2006 NHL offseason recap with your hosts, me Travis Guyerson, me Jaden Snodden, and me Peter Young. Today we will be talking about the offseason trades and signings for this year. We will name off teams one by one in alphabetical order, so if you're ready, let's get started on your first team, Anaheim. Okay, now this is probably the biggest trade of the offseason. Chris Pronger was traded to Anaheim for Joffrey Lupo, Vladislav Smith, and a second round pick, to, or a first round pick 2008, a second round pick 2008, and a first round pick 2007. Yeah, but do you think Lupo and Smith will do as good as Pronger did with Edmonton? Do you think the trades they're going to get will actually work for Edmonton in the future? Maybe, because if you have two uh, rookies that are doing well in their careers, it could possibly be better than uh, one uh, veteran that threw out off the playoffs, didn't even want to be on that team. But I do think Pronger would have been a very good part of that team if he were to stay. Okay, moving on now. Travis Green. Here's a player that used to be on the Leafs. He was an okay player. But now he's signed with Anaheim for one year worth 500000 He's a good two-way forward, and he's becoming a great veteran. Atlanta Thrashers. Nico Kapanen was required from Dallas for Patrick, Stefan, and Yorislav Mudry. Boston's next with another big signing, Zdeno Chara. The six foot nine, 275 275-pound defenseman was signed for five years worth $7.5 million a season. What do you think of this, Jaden? Wow, that is a lot of money for one guy, if you ask me. I think Chara's worth it. Okay, moving on now. Buffalo is next. Yaroslav Spachek was signed for two years worth $3.2 million. Uh, Spachek was a big part of this team for the run for the Oilers. Yeah. Daniel Briere was signed a one-year deal worth $5 million a season. Okay, I think Colorado got ripped off on that deal because Tonga is worth a lot more than that. We didn't do that yeah. Yeah. Ah. Alex Tonga. Sorry, was folks. Not mentioned ah. It's all good. Murray State. That's going to yeah. be a lot of bloopers. All right, we'll continue. Okay, keep going, keep going. Want me to start off at Zadino? Yeah. No, no, start at uh, no, Daniel start Breer. Zidino. No, Daniel Breer. Oh. Yeah, spot check. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey, spot check was a big part of this team for the Oilers run for the Cup. Daniel Breer was signed a one-year deal worth $5 million a season. Okay, Calgary's turns next. Alex Tongway was acquired from Colorado for jo Jordan Leopold. Leopold? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for a second-round pick. Yeah, for sure, yeah. I think Colorado got ripped off on that too, though, because Tongay is worth a lot more than that. Uh, Carolina, Eric Stahl, Stahl was uh, re-signed for a three-year three -year deal worth $13.5 million. I can see Eric Stahl being a good part of this team in the future, but let's move on to our next team, Chicago. Uh, Peter Lalim, uh, Patrick Lalim was signed for a one-year deal worth 700000 Martin Havlat and Brian Slementi was acquired from Ottawa on a three-way deal. I think that was a good move by Chicago. All right, Anson Carter signed a one-year deal with Columbus worth $2.5 million. And Colorado Cutter signed uh, Mark Steos for a one-year deal worth $1.5 million. Colorado also signed Joe Sackick to a one-year deal worth $5.7 million. I'm going to have to say that is my favorite signing by Colorado this year. Yeah, that was a pretty good signing by Colorado, if I don't say so myself. To Dallas. Mr. Vernon to the main office. Mr. Vernon to the main office, please. Jeff Halpern signed a four-year deal worth eight million, two million a season, and Eric Lindros signed a one-year deal worth one point five million. Dominic Hatchick signed a one-year deal with the Red Wings worth seven hundred and fifty thousand, and Lick Nicholas Lidstrom signed a two-year deal worth seven point six million. To Edmonton now, Joffrey Lupo, Ladislav Smith, and three picks acquired from Anaheim. Ah. Yeah, that was a good trade. Yeah. Okay, Dwayne Dwayne Rolison re-signs a three a three year deal worth eleven million or four million a season. Okay, to Florida. Tom Bertuzzi, Alex Ald, and Brian Allen were acquired from Vancouver for Robert Longo and Lucas Krejcik. Ed Belfour signed a four year a one year deal worth seven hundred fifty thousand. Los Angeles signed Rob Blake to a two year deal worth twelve million, and Sean Avery re-signed a deal one year season with one point one million. Uh, to Minnesota now, Marion Gavrick signed a three-year deal worth $19 million, and Mark Parrish signed a five-year deal worth $2.2 million. I really don't think Gavrick deserves that much money for a team he barely makes the playoffs. Okay, Montreal, Mike Johnson was acquired from Phoenix for a fourth-round pick. Um, Nashville, Jason Arnott signed a five-year deal worth four point five, and J.P. Dumont signed a two-year deal worth four point five. Uh, New Jersey's time. Patrick Elias signed a seven-year deal worth $42 million. Wow, that's a lot of money for one person, if I don't say so myself. Anyway, Scott Gomez signed a one-year deal worth $5 million. Okay. 
Um, this is the biggest signing for New York Islanders. Rick DiPietro signed a 15-year deal worth 67.5 million a season, or 6.5 million. I don't think that's a good trade for good deal for uh, New York because Rick DiPietro did not have a good season last year. What do you guys think? I think that is a, that deal is way too long, way too long. Like this guy is definitely not going to play for all those 15 years. Yeah, I think this big deal is even bigger than the one with Elias. Also, Brandon Witt signed a three-year deal worth 2.5, and Chris Simon signed a one-year deal worth 1 million. New York Rangers are next. Brendan Shanahan signed a one-year deal worth 4 million, and Matt Collins signed a four-year deal worth 11.2 million. And how about that signing, Peter? I think Brandon Shanahan's too much money, Jaden. Okay, let's move on to Ottawa. Martin Gerber, Gerber signed a three-year deal worth 3.7 million a season, and Joe Kovo. Uh, signed a four-year deal worth $2.5 million. Philadelphia. Simone Gagne signed a five-year deal worth $26 million, and Jeroff Smeridin signed a two-year deal worth $1.5 million. Um, Ed Jovanovski signed a five-year deal worth $32.5 million, and Owen Nolan signed a one-year deal worth $1.2 million. To Phoenix, right? I remember Olin Nolan on a leaf. He wasn't that great of a player. He was decent in his time. Yeah, Owen Nolan wasn't that good. I, I think he was probably the worst player ever. Like, the Leafs had to trade away Alan McCall, 